My name is Lauren Monroe Jr. I grew up on the Blackfeet Reservation. I currently reside on the Blackfeet Reservation. My art is centered on the, a mixture of my own individuality as well as Blackfeet motifs and visual imagery. Currently, what we have, I think, as a people is we're having a, a loss of, of interest from the younger generation to carry on the stories, the language, the ceremonies of, of our people that have been, has been going for thousands of years. And personally, I think, I think it stemmed from uh, the globalization. There's so much information coming in, so much desire to be different than who you are, to be popular, to listen to everything or do everything and dress and act, everything that is American versus, you know, learning what it was to be Blackfeet. I, w I was raised by my grandparents. You know, often in Blackfeet culture, there was always a child that was always given or raised by the grandparents. It was usually the oldest born. It was, it was fairly common, especially in the historical context, because that child would grow up to learn the ceremonies or learn the very important things about the culture that maybe some other kids wouldn't be able to. And so that's, that was my place. I grew up with my grandfather, who was a you know, very gifted sculptor. And at the time, I didn't realize how, how important it was to you know, learn these things. I just thought I was help, you know, helping out. And uh, it wasn't until later when I went to college, you know, I went to the university, that I, I looked back and I, I discovered why maintaining these, these ties to the past are so important. You know, they're, they're very important to, you know, remember, you know, who we are, because it, it, it helps define us. It, it allows us to remember and allows us to keep our culture going, our, ourselves going. The animals that appear in my paintings are often very important to the Blackfeet culture. You know, I paint horses and buffalo and ravens and all these other animals that we felt were were important that we had a spiritual connection to, you know. And uh, and so I like to remind people of that, I like to remind even my own people that, you know, these buffalo and these animals, they're, we, we may have been on this reservation for a little over 100 years, but we are still part of this world. We're still part of this natural order. We're still part of of maintaining those, you know, spiritual connections to things. And what I do with my own self-expression is, you know, I, I, I paint them, you know, in a dreamlike quality, these little abstract, these colors and things like that, this mixing of paint. And for me, what that represents is, you know, the subtlety of life, the idea that sometimes things aren't as concrete and they kind of form themselves as they go. I paint in acrylic because I feel that the colors are representative of the vibrancy of Blackfeet culture and traditionally we use bright colors in our own ceremonial painting and so I like to carry on that tradition. Often with my artwork there's a division, there's some works that are very very colorful, very full of life and energy and then there's, there's, there's some that are visually very dark. Even the content would be, will be, you know, sometimes deemed as dark, and that, that's, a, I think, a confliction between my own self, and I think at the same time, it's a wonderful duality of life because you can't have one without the other. And I feel that, as an artist and as an individual, that's what I try to portray, and that's, I think, is coming out at times. Is you have something that's full of life, and at times you have something that's dark, and I think those things blend quite well. So through my art, what we have is a, a marriage of, you know, myself and what it means for me to be Blackfeet. As an artist living on the reservation, one of the things I hope to inspire is for others to discover for themselves what it means to be a modern Blackfeet. <laughs>